Title Tuesday, we got 11 rounds, 245 players signed up. Only one game left, so the next one will be starting soon. Already doing better than last time. All right, B-Day Master, similar rating, 24.96. Here we go. All right, King's Indian. Oh, he delayed the deep one. That's a little different. Go after him. Let's go after him. Let's go after him. I think I do want that bishop. I don't know. Very strange decision. <laughs> I don't know. I would like the castle queen side. I know that much. It's a terrible bishop, though. And my knight's fine. I'm looking at bishop h3, queenside castle. Okay, he wants knight out here, I think. So the reason I'm going for this is that's his good bishop, the light square bishop. That's why I wanted this line. Now I'm going to try to double rooks. I'm down one pawn. He's going to always kind of look for this f4 push, f3 push, to open up his dark bishop. But as long as I'm ready for that, I think I have the advantage here. I like this position. Oh. I like this move a lot. This is a strategic move. Yeah, he has to push past. Otherwise, my knight head's in here. Okay. Let's go this way. The rook to g1. I guess this pawn could hang now. That rook moves. And this knight's getting shut out currently. Get the king out of here. Off the diagonal of that bishop. I have knight check, rook takes, rook takes, bish. Let's see if he goes for this. No. How do I get this knight into the game? Not this way. Okay. Take queen. Now I'm definitely looking at knight f6 check and take this bishop. I'm also looking at I push this pawn. Let's go. Let's go. We did it. 2490. What a good start. So the tactic here is rook takes knight, queen takes queen, wins the queen. And if he moves the king, knight takes queen. Thanks, guys. Maybe it'll get the brilliant mark. No, probably not. It's not a sacrifice. All right, not a bad chart. Uh, there was a few blips down. But I like the charts where you're never worse. And even though we were minus 1.5, based on the level of the opposition, I'm pretty happy with this.
Okay, let's look at the first mistake here. So this comes out of the Carol Con or not the Carol Con course, the classical D4 course that we have. I love these systems against the kid. Whenever Black plays F5 in these types of lines, it's almost always a mistake or an inaccuracy. Like look at the engine here saying F5 inaccuracy. But if you look at this from Black's point of view, it's very cramped. What is Black's plan here? Are they going to play B6 and just wait? Are they going to play A4, A3? I can always push past B3 or B4. F5 is the one plan Black wants. <laughs> yeah, Kurt, we got one sale. We got one sale from the live stream. This is the plan Black really wants, but it blows open their king side position, and this king can tuck away. All right, let's flip it back. So right here, I missed something. Bishop to F6 played. I played knight h5. I'm wondering if, well, there is f4. Bishop h3, f4. GG. Next time, Benoni, please. What should I have played here? A lot of times you're supposed to take on f5, and the reason for that is you open up this light square diagonal. It just didn't feel right here because I felt that it brought that bishop out very easily. I don't know the answer. Let's take a look. I think it was a sine wave, yeah. Bishop takes c5, d takes c5. First math joke of the stream. Thank you, Bob. E takes f. All right. This should have been my in this should have been more intuitive, I think. Look at the pawns. Black's pawns are terrible. And his king is wide open. Just open everything up is the idea. Knight takes f5. Oh nice. Queen g4 check. Just controlling everything. Bishop to d3 next. Threatening mate. Wow, what a position. That would have been really strong. So just bishop takes c5, d takes c, take f5, and if knight takes back, queen g4 check. It is pretty deep to see that line, but this is just a nice, I mean, even if I avoid the trade, this is a pretty nice position. Queen g4 is threatened, rook g1 ideas. This bishop is now free to get on this diagonal. Thanks, Geert. Every so often it can be. Beautiful chess is rare, but when it comes around, I love it. Okay, so d5. The computer liked this move. d6, I mean. He pushes past. It was actually a mistake. Oh, knight a4 immediately. So that was the downside of c6, but I didn't play knight a4 until move 26. Four moves later. So this makes sense. So instead of going all out against the king, I now have a second positional advantage. So positional advantage number one, king side, right? And oftentimes you want to have more than one positional advantage. So I have the king side advantage. After this exchange, d6, c6, I now have the queen side advantage if I plop the knight here. There's no good way for him to guard c5, and I'm also threatening the fork on b6. So keep that in mind. I had just a one-track mind. I was going all kingside, um, but here I should have shifted gears a little bit and tried to take advantage of the queen side a bit. Let's look at this point. Oh, again, knight a4. Oh, that's where we were, sorry. Okay, so king b1 here. Knight a4, top move. Jesse's saying, careful, don't let the next. I appreciate that, Jesse. There's still some games going. I have, I have it open, but I need to watch it closer. Rook d to g1. Oh, this was where the advantage went away. Queen takes d6. Top move, knight a4. All right, so that was a blind spot. I just kept missing knight a4. Once I found it, his best move is queen takes d6. He didn't play it. Queen h3. 
and then knight f6 check. Man, that was a nice game. I was really happy with that. Alright, one and a half points.